everybody. I'm Jerome right here again, and once again, you're joining me on my YouTube Jeronification channel. Okay, in this um, video, I will be doing um, decoding um, the Renaissance artwork of um, that of Theodore Jericho. Theodore Jericho, and this is the raft of the Medusa. Okay, um, I'm here with this painting again because a um, um, a a YouTube um, um, video subscriber of mine <clears throat> have requested that I actually um, um, enlighten him on basically um, what this um, what this bizarre painting is actually standing for. So um, it's my pos my position that through my paranormal experience and encounter that all of Renaissance artwork um, from the beginning, in fact, that's not just Renaissance artwork, but artwork that came before that era. Um, I don't care what century, um, um, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. It doesn't make a difference. Um, basically, what's happening is these are uh, these artworks um, reference multi-dimensional images, and this is the reason why the the persons or beings that are depicted they they bleed together, they run together, like everybody's laying over everybody in a sense that they're um they're they're they're, they're part of each other. It's, it's showing basically what it is in, in, based on from the beginning a cult-like ritual, which actually um, um, describes how mankind um, knew of his origins and a genetic bridging process, a continued process that actually describes how we got from our ape ancestor to our African ancestor to our Asian ancestors and finally to our Caucasian counterparts. Basically, what's happening is that it shows us that who we are genetically and how we evolved through different genetic bridgings with creatures that bring us to the like the various likenesses that are of our world, and it um, completely describes how it was done. So that means that if you are Japanese, if you are Ch Chinese, um, if you are African. Um, if you are from Germany, German, it, it describes pretty much how you got to be ethnically who you are today. And these are the, um, the breakdowns of the different nations. And there's records, genetic records. It's, it's, it's a genetic grail, what I call, like to call it. Not a holy grail, but a genetic grail. And it describes us, um, describe us as who we are. Um, anyway, in this, in this um, image here, you can Google this image, the Wrath of Medusa. It's my position that these um, there's players in here. I think this is a African um, of origin um, player back in here. You'll see when you Google the image. It, you know these Renaissance artists artwork says I'm reflecting it back through the YouTube video. You can't really see everything, so I'm gonna point you in the direction of where you need to go. You'll see mixed in here that you'll see Africans mixed in on the raft, and then um, they get lighter in color. And this and this here is a person of color here, and and this is actually a Caucasian person here. So it's my position that through the Africans depicted, or the African of origins, it shows a breakdown in their genes, okay, and how new genes were created. And then you see these players over here, like if they're waving off the, like if they're lost uh, or castaways at sea. Well, if you notice that each one of them has a different cloth in their hand. This one is white. And this one is red. It's my position that this raft of Medusa is is showing a genetic breakdown, a a cauldron like. If this was this raft is still is to be considered in a cult like way, a cauldron. It shows you a meltdown, a mixture of genes, of genetics, and then there was an extraction, new bloodlines out, new um um semen lines out, bodily fluids. These cloths are representing. There's blood here. There's semen there. And what happened? Well, at the front of the raft, you'll see the main players. If you look at this Jesus-looking like fella here, and then this guy here of color, I'm going to call your attention to their bodies, specifically right there. Okay, you will see multi-dimensional images. First, that that you will realize when you download this image and pull it in, you will see the silhouette of a line. Okay, that's there. Okay, and over here. Um, where's this African looking guy at? 
He's in there. I gotta find him. I gotta. Have, I have a blow up, but I'm. I'm gonna bring it in closer so you can actually see. Okay. I'm gonna bring in a close up of just this this area right here so we can actually see because it's difficult for me just as it is for you to see it and me describing it here is me. But this here, this part here, you got this down pat. It's my position that they're showing an extraction, new semen line, um, a new a semen genetically genetics which represents genetics we were created and that's what this wave of this white cloth is and then the wave of the red cloth is the same exact thing but meaning blood so blood and semen are genetics altered now here's a close-up of that African guy of that Jesus looking guy if you look in here in his torso you will begin look at the look at look at the multi-dimensional faces I can draw you several faces just out of this alone okay um, it's very difficult to imagine what is actually here now there's realized a line is in here okay now with this now check this up because this gets deep now there's a face of a monkey that is right here there's the mouth there's the chin okay there's the eye and it's looking up this way okay so you have the face of a monkey now check this out people because this gets deep there's the chin there's the mouth there's the nose area there's the eye socket of the monkey now that's facing up looking up right there in his shoulder you see that right there okay now the reason why I took that part out because below that is a face of a man and let me see if I can if I can get well actually a woman because she's the mother of Greece I'm sorry that shouldn't be saying a man but eyes right eye socket left eye socket nose mouth and chin you see that darkened figure there look like almost like the grim reacher and the hood it creates a woman with a hood over her head when you take out the ape wherever the ape appears which is there the mother of creation now if you back away from this in a different resolution there's a line right there shows you a breakdown in these genetics now if we come over here um, I know we are backwards. Where's my ape that is here? Right there. And we get in there closer, and I'm going to show you. It's difficult for me to see it reverse, to be totally honest with you. But here, I'm at the lip line, right there, of an ape. Okay? Um, there's the left nostril, there's the right nostril. I should have made this darker. There's the right eye and then no yeah hold on if i was looking that way there's the left eye and that's the right eye and then the forehead is created in here as well too this right here creates the face of an ape not the darker version of our ape but the lighter version almost like the um like the orangutan bro broken down showing you that this 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 gene has been broken down and it becomes lighter so it shows you how the ape evolved from their darkest of states meaning genetically to their lightest of states and what this is describing is not this is not about the ape though this is about the presence of the apes genetics in our bodies or in this individual's bodies and it shows you how he conquered it and broken it and, and was breaking it down so at this stage this gene right here was at this level and it's my position that through religion through um, um through 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 this ancient cult like process it shows you how this gene of this ape our original ancestor is continuously attacked and broken down watered down to where there's a control by mankind which is taking us from our animal state of which we evolved and that's what this is all about now these bodies being bridged over again look here and look at this face right here this guy, which is of color, that's why he's darkened in a shadowy way, st stating that he is still covenant in that of our ape and African ancestor, which is back here. Okay, this is why this guy is is, is shadowed. In the shadows is the darkened faces of our black and ape ancestors. Look in this guy's torso, and you will see other faces in his torso. 
and what it is showing you a bridging between black and white and you will see these multi-dimensional images going in both ways this way and going that way it's showing you this is almost like genetics in motion it would be nothing more than if you were looking into a microscope and looking at genes attacking other genes and genes being in, in, injected by a um, um, by a contaminating source and this is what this is all about they did it in artwork they used artwork to describe how genes were altered and it's all described in our ancient artwork all right I'm gonna end this video with that but look in the bodies of them and I understand what the, the, the best thing about all this is that, that I understand and there's not a, a, a direction that you can turn this painting in and not see you will see the faces of of, of um of, of, of horses and donkeys looking like creatures you know what I mean to show you the creatures of which is being represented and these multi-dimensional images there is not a direction that you can't turn this painting in to show these are our main players right here okay these are our main players here look at their bodies and look at the multi-dimensional images in their bodies look at look at look at this here I don't know if you can see the snout that donkey horse like creature right here I'm at it right there okay and my position is that it shows you how these animals all these main animals think about it people that 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 appear like with the Saints like with Saint Jerome you'll see the image of the, a line if you back off of here there's a line but if you google Saint Jerome's name and he's always appearing in Renaissance art with with the lion okay and I have videos here on that as well too but these 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 animals the lion the horses, okay, um, the um, the oxen, these the um, or the steer, um, and then the ram, these these beings that are idolized through these religious sects are the creatures that they are boastfully speaking of as being cross referenced with and broken down genetically. Now, look at this man. I want to tell you something look at his his presence okay look at his beard look at his hair and then look at his eyes it's my position that that dramatically cha that that dramatic change it deviates from that of our ape ancestor which of it which was of a a dark origin and then our african ancestor of our think of our blackest of blackest um african ancestor how in the world did we get to this to curly hair um, 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 brunette hair red hair blonde hair straight hair how do we get to this point this is not no 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 natural process people this is through a targeted select process of cross reference cross referencing with genes which include animals of our world and there's a record of it there's a there's there's a specific record lions tigers gazelles a deer species all of these creatures which got us from and, and I can't even see it back here and um, our African ancestor that he's in here back here somewhere and this is why these artists are showing it and then where the artists don't show it they use an ape to describe our African ancestor which is that ape is a representation of our closest that well, our closest ancestors to the ape would be that of our Africans and then it's showing you how there was a breakdown and this is why these these paintings are ran together as they are it's a bridging over and it's showing you exactly and describing how it's done now this is nothing here I mean as you get go on and on and on I mean the encryption styles become more and more complex and, and some artists artists artwork and some become less complex but it's my position that before this all of this which is being described can actually be um, can actually be pinpointed and all of our ancient artwork that is before they didn't perfect on this these artists didn't perfect on this until later I'm telling you that the further that you go back the more and more obvious that it becomes and you can see what is being described now the raft of Medusa the title I love this title because if you look at this it's, it, it implies the raft of Medusa meaning that sickness phantomen or she's attacking them the raft of Medusa 
it's my position that the title and what is being depicted cleverly camouflages the truth of what is going on. The raft of Medusa, in which I know who Medusa is because she is representation of the mother of creation, through all of my discoveries, this witch-like woman that describes her with being with these snakes and the snakes in the head, it's my position that it is describing a specific gene, a genetic, a genes, and a manipulation process from which she from which originates with her. And these bridgings. And that's what this is describing right here. The raft of Medusa, meaning that this is the chemistry, the cauldron like chemistry of our Medusa, mythical Medusa, whose gene has been continued and being um, manipulated and it describes here where it's at at this point it's my position that this mythical Medusa like woman and the genes that she's created and the genes that that, that is, is, is the procured and carried today can be traced from the, the time of her from the beginning of her beginning through to current and that's what this is all about my name is Jerome Wright you're watching my Jeronification channel and it's my position that there is no artist that has these encryptions that I cannot read. It's a readable grail. And it's all about extractions of new semen lines, genetics and semen, and genetics and blood. And it's describing that it all takes place because what is happening is that it's showing you how there is a bridging over white people of color. And then over here, our African ancestor. Um, I'm going to leave you with that, and I'm going to make another video. Thank you. Um, hold on, let me see if I, before I go. And I think that that would be it for now. There's more encryptions in there, but I'm going to leave you with that, because this is a, a difficult painting to actually see. But I'm going to stop there. Thank you. If you are ch Chinese, um, if you are... African, um, if you are from Germany, German, it, it describes pretty much how you got to be ethnically who you are today. And these are the, um, the breakdowns of the different nations. And there's records, genetic records. It's, it's, it's a genetic grail, what I call, like to call it. Not a holy grail, but a genetic grail. And it describes us who um, describe us as who we are. Um, Anyway, in this in this um, image here, you um, reference multidimensional images, and this is the reason why the the persons or beings that are depicted they they bleed together, they run together, like everybody's laying over everybody in a sense that they're um they're they're they're, they're part of each other. It's it's showing basically what it is in, in, based on from the beginning a cult like ritual. Which actually um, um, describes how mankind um, knew of his origins and a genetic bridging. Hi everybody, I'm Jerome right here again, and once again you're joining me on my YouTube Jeronification channel. Okay, in this um, video, I will be doing um, decoding um, the Renaissance artwork of um, that of Theodore Jericho. Theodore Jericho. And this is the raft of the Medusa. Okay, um, I'm here with this painting again because a um, um, a a YouTube um, um, video subscriber of mine <coughs> have requested that I actually um, um, enlighten him on basically um, what this um, what this bizarre painting is actually standing for. So. Um, it's my my position that through my paranormal experience and encounter that all of Renaissance artwork um, from the beginning. In fact, that's not just Renaissance artwork, but artwork that came before that era. Um, I don't care what century, um, um, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. It doesn't make a difference. Um, basically, what's happening is these are these artworks process. They continue process that actually describes how we got from our ape ancestor to our African ancestor to our Asian ancestors and finally to our Caucasian counterparts basically what's happening is that it shows us that who we are genetically and how we evolved through different genetic bridgings with creatures 
that bring us to the like the various likenesses that are of our world and it um completely describes how it was done so that means that if you are japanese 